Good morning, Facebook family. This is Becky Brown here with a quick word of encouragement for you today. 1 Peter 5 and 8 says, Be sober and vigilant, for your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, seeketh whom he may devour. And if you see right over my shoulder, right there, you see this black cow. Yes, I live on a farm and I love it and I love all of these animals. Um, but animals, if you know anything about animals, they can sense fear. If you're nervous about something, they're going to be nervous about something. Um, they're very smart animals. And when I think of this scripture, when it says, be sober and vigilant for your adversary, the devil is as a roaring lion is seeking whom he may devour. If you know anything about lions, um, you know that sometimes that lions will circle their prey. And if you're an animal that's being circled, fear comes upon you. And just like these animals can, can sense fear, the adversary, the devil, can sense our fear. That's why at the beginning of this scripture, it says, be sober, be vigilant. To be sober, if you've ever been drunk or been around drunk people that are um, intoxicated, they're off balance, they can't see clearly, they cannot make um, good, wise decisions because their, their vision is altered. Um, their state of mind is altered. And so the scripture is saying, do not lose focus. Be alert. And the definition of vigilant is, Pay attention to possible danger and difficulties. So what is the scripture saying to us this morning? Be alert and pay attention. Guys, we've got to wake up to what the enemy is doing in our day. He is seeking whom he may devour. And that tells me he's trying to pick up on any ounce of fear I may have of what he might do. Might do. Just as the scripture says, as a roaring lion. He's not the roaring lion. My lion is the lion of Judah. He's the only real, true, powerful, all, all purpose, all powerful, um, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And so what the adversary, the devil does, he's trying to mimic him and he's trying to, uh, mirror his authority, which he has none. The adversary has no authority in your day. I want you to hear that. Pay attention. Pay attention to what's going on because a lot of it's just noise. He's trying to, to throw obstacles in our way to get us off course, to get us our, our focus off of what's important. That's why the scripture says, be sober, be vigilant, pay attention, be alert. Um, to possible dangers. Don't let your your focus be shifted and altered. Don't let things of this world, the cares of this world, shift your focus on what you know to be true. And that is the word of God. Remember that in your day to be alert. Pay attention to what Satan is trying to do. He is trying to lure us in and trying to um, impose fear on us. But the, the reality of it is, what does the scripture say? God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. We can have a sound mind when we are sober and vigilant, paying attention and armoring up with the word of God each and every day. That's how we're sober. That's how we're vigilant. And ultimately, we are overcomers in Christ. Remember that in your day and also remember this is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice, pay attention and be alert to your surroundings and what Satan is trying to do. This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice, not be fearful and be glad in it. God bless you and have a great day.